What's up? My name is Stephen Mayu, and this is my video series on React, where I walk you through all of the React challenges at FreeCodeCamp.com. Uh, okay, so in the last video, we set up our environment, our dev environment, on CodePen.io, and uh, normally I don't develop React apps in CodePen. I do it in a in my text editor, um, but uh, uh, we're going to use it for this project because it's not too complex and. Uh, we don't need a, a like a full fully blown out dev environment. Okay, so uh, in the last video, if you, if you've been skipping around, we uh, gone ahead, we imported JavaScript and set our processor preprocessor to SAS. We imported React, React DOM, and the marked uh, library as suggested by Free Code Camp to actually parse our GitHub flavored markdown into HTML. So I gone ahead and imported those libraries here and I chose Babel for the um, for the preprocessor, JavaScript preprocessor. And um, and then I just click this button here, whoops, added it two times, uh, for the uh, for the head tag and that's all we need. Uh, CodePen is wonderful. It's great. It's super fast and convenient, but um, you know it doesn't actually reflect like you know real development that you would do. Uh, case in point, uh, for my HTML um, in CodePen, I don't need to start with an HTML tag or even a head tag. Uh, why? Because well, it's already taken care of right here in the pen settings. Uh, we can add stuff to our head and to our HTML. If I want to add some more head tags, I could do it here. So, um, so yeah, uh, for our HTML, uh, we don't even need these tags, um, which is a little unusual because in a you know text editor, we would need that stuff. So let's just use the body. Okay, we'll start with that. Oops, there we are. Oh, by the way, you know, programmers, developers were very la lazy and uh, if you just type body and then press tab, boom, you get the brackets and you're good to go. So there it is, there's the body. Um, I wanna use just some bootstrap to you know, add some padding on the sides. So that's gonna be a div. Oh, I thought that would auto-complete for me. There we go. And, uh, and this is a bootstrap class container. Okay, so container, um, it uh, makes it nice and uh, presentable. It adds, uh, I think, about 15 pix, uh, pixels of margin on like both sides. So that's really good for us. And then I'm going to include one final div. And I'm going to give it a class name of render target. And that's it. That's all that I'm going to do for that one. Uh, that's it, guys. That looks totally crazy, but that's all we need for the HTML. Uh, when you're working with your React, your HTML files, it's going to look like this. It's going to be very little in that file. Essentially, what's happening is uh, I'm going to set this up in a little bit in the next video, but all of the um, all the HTML that will be produced by our React file it's going to be like rendered and like generate it and we are going to insert it directly in this div called render target um, and you can name it anything but a lot of developers call it render target but for the html that's it we are done and uh, and we don't need anything else okay one more thing to take care of just to satisfy the requirement um, you must use both sass and react all right uh, yeah, that's what I need. <laughs> uh, that was from my uh, previous project. Uh, okay, so normally, let me just change this right here. All right, to no preprocessor, super simple. So normally, uh, I just want to add um, a little bit of margin to the body. So normally, we would do it like this in regular CSS. Boom, good. Call it a day. You're finished. Um, in in SAS though, it's it's a lot easier than that. It's less typing. Okay, so you can see here it's giving me an error. This is what you do for SAS. Say body, then you go to the next line, and you say margin colon twenty. And do you say picks like that? 
Okay. Wait, well, it doesn't like the... All right. Yeah, that's right. So SAS doesn't use semicolons. I always forget about that. That's it. So CSS and, you know, regular CSS and SAS, it, it looks like really, really similar. Uh, there's no semicolons and there's no curly braces, but everything else is the same. Uh, SAS is really cool. Um, it's more terse and concise and uh, you know, just makes your CSS like less bloated. So I definitely recommend that you learn SAS for this project. Uh, I'm not going to be getting into it. So um, you know, check out some other tutorials. There's tons of free ones on the internet that are really good. Okay, so let's stop here. Um, in the next video, uh, we will jump into the uh, JavaScript and start writing some React and some JSX. I'll explain what all those terms are right now. Uh, but let's stop here, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye. Boop.